Hey guys, Skip here. Gonna get ready to start the build on this. It's gonna be a temporary build. Uh, I still have to put it together. I wanna make sure everything works. Uh, possibly even fly it if I get the chance with the wind and the weather and stuff like that. Today looks pretty nice, but I'm not built yet, so. Um, we're gonna get this thing going. First thing we gotta do is get the fuselage together. I did find out that the these little spars were not for the uh, horizontal stabs in the back, as I thought, because they come preloaded within the stabs themselves as well. Uh, so they go into the fuselage. Okay, so those are for that. And this I was concerned, curious about. That's to go around the fuselage after you have seen, so that you don't uh, see the seam as much. I just don't know if, how, how thin that tape's going to be if it's... Uh, but I'll give it a try. We'll have to see it. Okay? Hold tight. We're going to get going on the uh, gluing the joints here and stuff first. I'm going to insert the carbon fiber spot that's about uh, maybe about a third of the way in with glue and I think I'm only going to do it on one of the fuse on one of the one of the sides I'm not sure which because I do want to be able to take this thing down should I have to and be able to put it in back in the box so when I like if, if and when I move uh, I can do it that way instead of trying to transport this thing in one piece all right hold tight All right, guys, so we got the uh, fuselage all put together. Uh, I gave it a couple hours to dry, and it's, you know, not, it's full cure in 24 hours, but that foam tack's pretty good. You can actually, you could probably fly it with it the way it is now, but I wouldn't want to take that chance. Uh, so 24 hours is 24 hours. I found with the foam tack, its best, strongest cure is about seven days. So uh, depending on humidity, I suppose. Right now it's kind of dry. Uh, next thing to install here, guys, is going to be the elevators, or uh, these big uh, verticals with the elevator, okay? So we'll do that live here real quick. Let me grab a... We're all set. Ask me why I put that back away. <laughs> Now they're kind of cool. They gave us two packs of, of screws. I mean, this is all there is, guys. Um, these are just the wing bolts, so we can pretty much just uh, set those to the side for right now. All we're going to be concentrating on the screws that we need for this back end are all the same size, so you can't go wrong. They are Phillips head, and they are beveled. So we got to untuck our little lead wire here, just like normal, and then they've got them tucked in back here so that they don't get in the way. I thought they were plugged into something, and no, they're not. Uh, they're extension leads, and they just found it convenient to stick them in a hole in the foam. It made it look like there was something there, and maybe I, you know, it was confusing at first, but it was just their packaging. Remember, red's always in the middle. Signal is orange or white. Black or brown is negative. <clears throat> Good, firm, tight connections on this. I won't have to put tape on them or anything. Okay, then you want to tuck your Lead back in there if you can a little bit. Guide that through there. Here for a second. Make sure I get that 
wire tucked in there. Okay, so when it goes in, it's going straight. Get into that groove in there. Spar fits in. At least it's supposed to. <laughs> Garmin, stop recording. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. All right, guys, the problem was there was a hunk of glue stuck in the middle of that inner spar and it wouldn't let the thing go in. So let's see if we have a little better luck this time. It should just slide straight on. And it does. Okay. Much better without the glue in the way. Alright. Slide the other side on and we'll turn it over. double and triple check polarity. Hate taking something apart and doing it again just because you were stupid. There we go. Pardon my head there guys, I gotta be able to see here for a second. side I'm pretty sure there we go. a little doing just takes a little doing their uh, the tolerance is very tight on them so it's got to be just right but the, a plug of glue stuck in one end didn't help at all Since we got it this far and it's already upright, I might as well. Well, yeah, I want to go ahead and do this too. Nice tight fitting connectors on all guys. Won't need to tape these at all. Just slide right down in place. That was nice and easy. And an airline was built right before your very eyes. A little three by ten millimeter screws.
inch on this thing here, guys, so I don't uh, accidentally bump the fuselage or nick it or gouge it with my nail or something with my thumb. A big old thumb mark on there. on the other side and then we'll turn it over and uh, secure the, the tail section the elevators that went in nice and straight right off the bat Before we hook up any linkages and stuff, guys, it'll probably be pretty much a done basic build. Uh, I'm going to want to center all my servos and stuff like that. Make sure everything's all in center positions before I hook up my linkages. Try not to slip on these things because it's it. Obviously, I hate to say it, but cheap Chinese hardware is good for about one or two uses. If it's something I know that's going to be taken apart a lot, I replace it with good stuff. Hardened U.S. American, American made. Never have a problem with it. Do not over tighten. Remember, these are still plastic and they're compressing foam. So you can weaken it either, weaken it either way doing that. All right, we'll flip her over. You guys didn't get to see the battery compartment very much yesterday. I apologize about that. But uh, this is the battery compartment, the way it comes. The Before you glue these two together, guys, before you glue the two halves of the fuselage together, there's this bundle of wires that are back there, and there's a, uh, a nylon tie, or a, a twist tie, that's holding the bundle together. You need to untwist that so that when you join them together, you just give the whole fuselage a little shake, and, uh, you know, down towards the nose, and the wires just fall right forward. So you don't have to pull anything, no snaking or anything like that. Even though you could actually reach down there almost and grab if you wanted to. Okay. But we're going to turn this thing over and tighten up the, the rear stabs, and then we're going to get going on the wings. jostling of the camera here guys. A nice close up view. Yeah, 
holes are nicely lined up so the screws just drop in. This one's a little bit more. So I might use another driver again. I get a better feel with the, the shorter one. Okay, and they do bottom out with the plastic a little bit, so don't feel like you're, you're overturning them. That one's touching. Okay. And we'll just do the same on this side. Do, 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 I should have some music or something playing here, huh? Do so you guys still like the speed build or the full build? Because you wouldn't have to pay too much attention. This had already been done about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's a pretty basic build, guys. Uh, I kind of take my time as I'm looking over things and getting ideas at the same time. That's kind of why I didn't know what I was going to do with it until I got it together, and then I can really look at it and, and see, you know, what she screams for. You know, kind of like an artist looking at a, at a canvas. You know, what do I put on this canvas? Let's see. I don't know. Let's look at the canvas for a while. Remember, it's not just, it's just to keep them out. The stays are in there, so the screws go through and it holds it together. But I do like to pinch it and make sure you don't get any, any play back there. All right, guys, hold tight and we'll be back and do the wings. Thanks for watching so far. Hey, guys. All right, before we put the wings on, we have to install the nacelles with the motors in there. And after looking at the instructions, they're saying that going through the channel here, they're gonna get caught up on the wires in here. So you have to pull out this front panel and uh, kind of put a little tension on the wires so the wires from, from the nacelle and the motor have a straight shot through. So we'll just back this screw out this little screw out I just like to take a mental note while I'm looking at things to see that all the other screws and stuff look like they're seat, seated especially the landing gear okay so this little bugger's got to come straight out a little bit 
careful not to pull them off the back. They are connected. And make sure they're all good and on there too, guys. Remember, these are uh, underpaid Chinese workers that are putting this stuff together. So we want to get a clear channel as possible to uh, be able to run the wires through there. Instructions say kind of untangle the wires so they get a, a straight through shot. I'm going to use a, a spar here to help move some stuff out of the way. I should be able to get those wires through there. <coughs> Remember, they only go in one way. They are keyed. Not only mentioned, somebody also wrote it here, right is right. You know, but uh, they can only go in one way. Carefully uh, feed this in through here. See which way I want to go. Well, tell me there's not a really straight. The other. There we go. Now, so we don't lose our nacelle, we can go ahead and just kind of drop that into place. Make sure those wires are where they're supposed to be in there. So there's a channel. Just so that we're not pinching them. They would like right down and flush. Let's see, did the back pitch? Let me see. No, back is fine. And it takes the same screws as before the uh, three by ten three of them to hold this into place. We're starting to lose some of our lighting here, guys. Hold on a second. Let me uh, get a little more light for us. How's that? A little better? supposed to be sunny just about now and I figured we'd really be getting some good good light in this room. And one there, one here, and one up here. Just a tag till I feel it drop in a little bit. You want to have something underneath this because you kind of got to push down a little bit on these to get them in. 
they're uh, seating into plastic, so it's self-tapping process. So you got to push a little bit. If you have this wing on a hard surface without something soft, you may be doing damage to the top of your wing and not realize it till you've done this. And that would really suck. Because at that point, you can't return it. <laughs> that looks like it's all in. Good. <coughs> and then see no pushed in areas over that curvature of the wing. Almost better off to just use your hands under that to support it because that can conform to the curve real nice and you know just don't you know when you push it too hard whether you're gonna leave fingerprints or not. back in, leaving the motor wires exposed, and uh, squeeze back in place. I'm kind of doing this awkward, guys. I'm not really seeing too well. I'm kind of trying to do it for your viewing pleasure, <laughs> but I can't see what I'm doing. Just a second. Pardon my backside here. Can't find the holes. Oh, I missed them a mile, I did. Murphy's messing with me. <laughs> I've got it. It's right there. It's just, I'm uncoordinated today. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I'm almost there. strategy. Let's see how gravity works. Oh yeah, this is a lot easier. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can still see me over here. Camera just a tad. Yeah. 
holding, holding it like this. Be careful so you don't hit the floor, but I'm using my lap for the nest cell. And uh, now it just kind of falls in place for me. Trying to get that back in there, inverted underneath that little ledge of that ribbon clip. It's kind of hard, blind. You really got to see it. And in this case, I needed to let gravity work a little bit. Not too tight, but don't want it to fall out either. It's just mounting into wood. Not another good time to check your control surfaces and see if they're about where you like. Can't do much with the aileron, but the flaps can be tightened a little bit, it looks like. And this one seems to be fine. So, we have one wing ready to go on. Do the same thing with the other one. You guys want to see it? All right, Garmin, stop recording. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. Okay, it doesn't listen anymore. Guess you guys have to see the other wing. Wherever it may be. Wherever it may be. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to make you suffer through that, so uh, we'll repeat the process and see you in a moment. See, uh, see you in a minute, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, got the other wing done, and uh, it was a little bit easier than the other one. Uh, the wires weren't twisted and curled quite as much, so I had a, a bit straighter of a shot. So we're going to go ahead and install the wings here real quick, and then turn it over. And uh, all I've got to do really is, is uh, uh, hook up my electronics, center the servos, and, and put on my linkages, dial in my rates. So we'll finish this part up here. Pull our little wires out. Like I say, they got them stuck in the foam in there. So they don't go anywhere, I suppose. Now on these wires, there's a note. They've got them coated already, red to red, black to black, yellow to yellow, just so you don't reverse the motors. Because these motors are uh, counter, counter spinning, counter propelling, uh, counter, counter rotating uh, motors, which is kind of nice. I'm surprised they didn't advertise that fact, because I was curious about it. I had to do some real close up photos on them and see if, if they were, and they, they kind of looked like it in the photos, but they, they didn't actually mention that, you know, but they did say that, that the same system is in the ME262, so, uh, you know, with that, let's see, I think I'm going to need something else here first, too, but I wing spar. far in the back here too that we're going to have to get to. So right now I need something to support this with. So we don't go for a ride here. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Got a towel right here. Sorry, I have to put my back to you guys again, but uh, I have to use my arm to hold this part up. So you got an LED wire here, guys, basically to hook up, okay? And uh, make sure on your polarity, they are marked red and black. You 
don't do that correctly, you will fry your LEDs. Because LEDs are only allowed to let current pass one direction. And they've got protectors, guys, around these, the, uh, around this motor harness here. So when you put your leads on, <clears throat> there's already a shrink wrap around there, guys. So no possibility of those leads touching each other. Kind of cool, really good idea. I have to stretch this uh, little cap a little bit, this, this plastic sheathing, just a tad, because it doesn't want to accommodate all three real easily, that's for sure. Let me try the outside first and the inside last. Everyone wants to pinch a little bit, guys. It's in there now. Okay. She's not going anywhere. Careful, tuck the wires back into that channel there. Extend my gear, huh? Ah, oh, rats. All right. I think we're going to have to extend the gear here, guys, to try and get this to go in there and still be able to meet that channel. All right? So hold tight. We'll be back. Okay, guys, with a little bit of coaxing, I didn't have to extend the retracts. Just got to make sure you get the, that bottom spar in there, and then you push down a little bit and just kind of force it through it. It just moves the foam on the wheels a little bit, but you didn't have to, I didn't have to pull the retracts up. That was nice, because I'm not ready to do that yet. All right, same process with the other wing, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. <clears throat> Looks like we've got it pretty much done and in. I just got to drop in the wing bolts. Yeah, they were a little, uh, just a little tricky trying to get a couple of things in and around and, and tucked and in, and, but uh, not too hard, not too hard at all. The screws on these are threaded, guys, so I want to make sure you get it lined up like I haven't.
extending the uh, landing gear would have been easier, guys, for future reference. If it's easier for you, I don't know. For me, it, it's easier once I get it all powered up and stuff. You kind of have to do that anyway. Okay, that one's tight. side and flip it over. That should be it, guys. Now, with clearance in this room, I'm going to have to be real careful. Grab the camera here, guys. Give you a little shot of the sides. We straighten out our surfaces here, like it's going to be. I don't think these are going to stay up on their own until I until I hook them up. That one's really loose. I might want to tighten that one a little bit. So I might have have a little bit of tweaking to do, and definitely going to have to hook up my electronics and my receiver and stuff like that. So. Uh, let me put the canopy back on it and pretty much call the initial build done, aside from the wingtips, which uh, I'm thinking they go the other way. I think the curvature of the wing, yeah, this, they're going to go like that. Parts. Set the camera down there for just a second. I should have slid in a little bit further. Might have some paint built up, so like I said, I might have to do a little bit of tweaking on some things. This one should slide in a little bit further. There we go, kind of. Not all the way, but close enough, I guess. I'll have to work on that a little bit. See the offset on it? Just a tad. But I think there's some uh, paint residue in there. I'm going to have to clean out the channels on that wing tip. Because this side over here just snapped right in. Just the way it should be. Let's see, find my uh, canopy cover. You guys want to look at this rat's nest in here? Rat's nest in here again? It's uh, UBC or UBEC here. They've got it wired in to this, but they come up with a redundant, is what I'm guessing until I find out different. Because coming out of the bottom of the UBEC, there is a lead. LED wire, I don't know where that one goes either. But there is a uh, there's a lead that they're looking to use on here we go on this cluster here. 
and I'm not sure where that's supposed to go unless I plug that to my battery uh, on the receiver but it might just be redundant so I might have to check around and find out a little bit you guys know let me know leave a comment a lot of you guys already have this model and have figured this stuff out yourself already I have a lot of a uh, loose connection to figure out where they go to all right but the basic build is complete fits like a glove She's big. I can't hardly get her in the shot here, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's that's definitely the biggest size-wise airplane I've got. It may not be the fastest or the coolest looking, but it's definitely, uh, I think it ranks in the cool factor. Wait till I get, get some graphics on there. This is Skip, signing out. See you next time. I'll have some more done on it, and, uh, ready to test it out and hopefully fly it. Thanks for watching.